Hi Sagittarius, I trust you are well and that you will have an amazing month of July. This is going to be your monthly reading. Cross watchers, welcome. Please check out your sun, your moon, your rising and your Venus sign. Check your placements within your birth chart. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Okay, let's look and see what else the Sagittarius need to know. What else the Sagittarius need to know? Let's look at the deck. Hmm. Phew, I'm just thinking now. This might be a person that has got some sort of control issues, denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Okay, what else does Sagittarius need to know? You are blessed. And imagine so we see what else most important messages for Sagittarius for the month of July most important Six of cups Thoughts. See, you are going to be moving away. This is possibly a new life offer coming in for you. And this is possibly you moving away. And I do feel I want to put it here. Yeah, this card. You need to possibly move away from some sort of control issue. Some sort of control person in your current life. That might feel... That they've got some sort of control over you. Um, it might be a work situation. It might be a family situation. It might be. Yes. Um, you are ending off an old cycle. Starting something new. It can be in a love relationship. It can be in work. Most important messages for Sagittarius. Most important messages for Sagittarius okay we've got the high priestess we've got the seven of swords you do have a love offer coming in for you a big emotional offer the general energy is the page of swords now Sagittarius do not dim your light to fit in. And I do believe this can be in a love relationship. It can be in family. It can be in friends. How are you dimming, dimming your light in order to fit in? Someone around you or possibly yourself are in denial about something. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. You know that you are blessed. And you are possibly imagining better things for you. Planning, contemplating towards something better. With the Ace of Cups. And I mean this can be planning and contemplating towards um, a better love relationship. A better work situation. A better family situation. Then you've got the Six of Swords. And this is you moving away. I do believe that you're moving away. Out of this current cycle in your life. That's possibly causing unhappiness and with the world card it's just basically confirming it. You are ending off an old cycle starting something new. There might be someone that is either mystical or very spiritual within your current energy. Or this might be you yourself. Um, that will receive the clarity and information but this is also a person keeping secrets. Next to the high priestess you've got the seven of swords. Now... With this and the Three of Cups, if this is in a love relationship, 
I do feel that there's possibly it might be a third party um, a lover's triangle situation if this is you then you are possibly keeping secrets and you are not sharing you know a lot of information with everyone else around you your friends family home because you are imagining something better for yourself but here with the page of swords it's telling you that you will receive quick rapid information um, it's the messenger card from someone it might be an air sign Queers, Libra, Gemini, or with A in the chart. Um, I do see someone, or either you, pre presented with a uh, emotional love offer with the Ace of Cups, and this is abundance in love, abundance in emotion, abundance in um, money, career, home. This might be you as well, ending of an old cycle, starting something new and going towards your new path. And cutting out these possible people that is playing a big role currently in your life. That is dishonest and up upfront. And this is normally um, the lying, cheating, stealing card. Um, deceitful card. So someone, if you're currently in a love connection, wants to tell you that you brought them to love. If you are currently in a committed relationship or your crush. My soul bloom in love for you. Maybe this is the love offer that's possibly coming your way. It might be a water sign person or with water in the chart. Pisces Scorpio Cancer. But, you know, um, the zodiac signs that I currently see here that might play a big role in July month is air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius, water sign, Pisces Scorpio Cancer. Mm, yeah. But yeah, someone is definitely in denial about something, Sagittarius. So yo, look after yourself, keep well, have an amazing month of July and thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to my channel, Tarot Dreams 88. Thank you.